dishes. Why he come back to have it out? It's totally warm today outside, just like in yesterday's video on the main channel. This is why I'm still wearing a tank top, otherwise I wouldn't um, be able to survive all of this here, this, this five minute session. Last time around we have talked about visualizing fraction addition and this time we would like to also visualize fraction multiplication. Many students really need this visualization illustration process for them to understand how all of those formal operations work. So before we get into those formal operations we are just going to take a look at apple pies yet again. Let us take a look at one whole apple pie yet again. And I'm going to tell you a little secret how you can convert all of those multiplication questions into something that um, pops up in the English language and also in the German language. Okay, but, but this is the English version is only in the English language. We are going to take a look at uh, one quarter of a pie. Okay, you, you know how this works. Cut it from here and here and you are going to get yourself quarters. So one piece right here is one quarter. And we are going to make a little example calculation here. We want to find out what one quarter times one third is. We are going to take our one quarter, put it here. And now I'm going to tell you about my secret that I always tell students also when talking about percentages. You can translate the multiplication here into English language, namely one third times one quarter is nothing but one third out of one quarter. Okay, so one third out of one quarter. This is what it basically means. What does it mean to have one third out of one quarter? How can you translate this question into parts of a whole thing, of a whole cake? What it means, we are going to dive right in now. So, at first we are going to take a look at one third of a quarter. Meaning we are just going to divide it up into thirds, obviously. Meaning this up here is a third. A third out of one quarter. And now we are going to translate this one third out of one quarter into how often does the third of a quarter fit into a whole cake. Okay, into one whole cake. It's as easy as it is. Now only the only thing you need to do is to count. So a third fits three times into one quarter. So that means it fits three times into here, six times into one half, then nine times into three quarters and exactly 12 times into one cake. Meaning one third out of one quarter is one part out of 12 out of a whole cake. Meaning you can translate one third times one quarter. And this is commutative by the way, so one third times one fourth is the same as one fourth times one third. So the question one third out of one fourth is the same as asking what is one fourth or one quarter out of one third. Okay, just as a little side note. So our third of a quarter fits 12 times into whole, meaning this is just one twelfth out of a whole cake. It's as easy as it is. And thus we are done with this question. Let us do one more such that you gain a bit more intuition about that. Let us take a look at a square. Okay, and we are going to divide the square up into, uh, I don't know, thirds yet again. Okay, we are going to partition it into thirds. And now we are going to ask ourselves the, the question, what is um, one half out of a third, for example. Okay, so one half out of a third. One half times one third. Okay, it's, it's the same question we are basically asking. Meaning we are going to take ourselves to one third, put it here, and now what is one half out of a third? Well, we just need to partition it into two halves. It does make sense. Okay, if you have two halves of a third, you are going to get yourself the third once again back. So this is one half. And now we are just going to count how often this one half does fit into this whole structure, into this whole square. And then you're just going to count, um, yeah, uh, how, how many parts you have to fill in. Okay, just what we did up, up here basically. So one half fits two times into one third, meaning it fits four times into two thirds and exactly six times into one whole square, meaning a half of a third is just 
one part of six out of a whole thing. Okay, so this is just one six. And maybe you can see a pattern here. Okay, we, we were dealing with really easy numbers here. What you might notice is that in the denominator we were just multiplying stuff together. So 3 times 4 is 12 and down here 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. And this is basically the whole secret here. So, so if you are good with exponentiation rules then you might already know where all of this is going. But if you don't know about exponentiation rules then you are better off knowing how to do this at first before we get into all of this formal stuff. I thank guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, make a main channel if you like us, take a look at the main channel. Um, su subscribe to this channel if you know about someone else who struggles with mathematics, then please tell them about this channel or please tell your whole class about this channel if you get a kick out of it, if it helps you in any way possible. And yeah, what should I say? Wish you guys a flamble day. Go outside, it's nice weather and yeah, have a flamble day. Ciao. <laughs>